All right, sending it over to Konosumi with some fast drifting slipstream. All right, what's up, everybody? My name's Konosumi, and I'm back at Calithon playing slipstream. I'll have the couch introduce themselves. I was here last time. I'm Chakrit. This was David. He was on the last run. I'm Rel7. I'm Soy Sauce Doodles. This yeah. is Phil. Same sauce. Same, um, same, same couch sauce. as the <laughs> Kirby Air Ride run. Slipstream is an arcade racer inspired by the 90s titles that made the genre great, like OutRun, for example. But modern elements have been added to it, <laughs> such as the Battle Royale game mode. And that's what I'll be playing today. I'll be explaining what Battle Royale is, but first got to select our car, which is the Lynx. This car has an amazing top speed, but it lacks in acceleration and handling. So I'll be using it for this run, and I'll be painting it red, of course. And we're also going to be playing on hard just to make things a little bit more interesting. And yeah, I think we're ready to go. Let me know when I'm, you're ready for countdown. All right, in three, two, one, go. Good Good luck, the, can I have the game volume turned down a little bit? It's a bit loud. Anyway, Battle Royale has started. There are 16 cars on the field, and we gotta quickly get to the top of the pack. They're all gonna rubber band away from me at the start, but I'll be able to catch them later. So the way Battle Royale works in a racing game, if you're wondering, we're gonna be going through uh, a bunch of stages that are seamlessly connected to each other. And as the stages transition, the person in the last place will be eliminated. So we need to make sure that does not happen to us. As you can see, this game has a really nice art style with amazing pixel art as well as a background scenery. <laughs> this song is bomb. Yeah, the soundtrack for this game is awesome. So here we have our first rival, which is one David J on the couch here. We're gonna do a slipstream <laughs> off of David here, and I think we're about to go into the next track, so I wanna get ahead of him as fast as I can. But there are many more opponents up ahead, especially since they're pretty fast on the hard mode. That was Akagiyama, uh, inspired by the Akagi Mountain Road, found in Initial D. And now is Morning City. This track is really cool. I spent a lot of time doing time trials here. And the scenery here is especially unique. We're quickly already in 12th by the second stage, which is really good, going at about 170 miles per hour. Since the game has a pseudo 3D art style, your racing line doesn't exactly matter as long as you don't uh, knock into the wall. So I'm gonna try to be careful on the accelerator as I go through these corners here. Drifting is what you wanna do through all of these corners. The game's called Slipstream because the main mechanic, the main gimmick of this game is slipstreaming. I could probably do it right here. I'm gonna slipstream off of this opponent and get a speed boost into this corner. Going about 165 here. Oh yeah, here's another character coming up, uh, Tofu Boy, which is inspired by Takami Fujiwara of the Initial D anime series. Shoutouts to that. It's giving me a real big case of deja vu. <laughs> I feel like I've just been in this place before. Dude, I want to go like further up above on the roads, yeah. you know? Something like that. <laughs> gas, gas, gas. Get it out now. It was, it was gonna happen. Also, it was only a matter of when. Some of you might recognize this character here. Uh, apparently, he's in a bunch of games. I believe his name is The Baz. That is The Baz, and he will actually be uh, later tonight in <laughs> Dive Kick. Aw, <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't know what that joke is. I keep seeing. I don't know either. I just found out about it recently. It really blows my mind. But yeah, we're just going from track to track. Uh, it's kind of hard to explain because we're just simply going really fast here. This is a really good run so far. Um, these tracks are unique. It may seem repetitive, but some of them have track splits. Some of them have wider rows as well as uh, shorter corners. I think every track in this game is great. There's only one track that kind of bothers me, but I think the art style in it definitely makes up for it. We'll see if we can encounter that later in the run. But I haven't gotten really many opportunities to slipstream, unfortunately, but that's okay because I'm still maintaining my speed really well. Hey man, you gotta do the thing that the, that the title of the game says to do, I otherwise know. you're not doing it right. If I'm not slipstreaming, then what game am I playing? Minecraft, probably. Minecraft. I mean, Minecraft yeah. but with cars, is that yeah. it? 
car Minecraft, dude. Carcraft. Car no, I said this yesterday. Oh god, that sounds hilarious. Uh, <laughs> I said this yesterday. I, I get some like Hotline Miami like, vibes from this game, oddly enough. Even though, like it's a little bit less gritty. Yeah, it's a good game. Mind if I read a quick donation? Here? Yeah, go for it. We got this is an important one actually. We got twenty dollars from the Packle. It says, hello fellow gamers. I am so sorry I couldn't make it to the event to help Konosumi get the number one victory royale in Slipstream, but I promise I'll make up for it at SCDQ. Shoutouts yeah. to the rest of the hat nerds for being awesome guys, and good luck to the rest of the runners at the event. Major, major shoutouts to Packle. Uh, when we submitted this, it was originally going to be a co-op speedrun of Battle Royale, and I was it was going to be really great, but unfortunately he had to drop. So, big shout-outs to Packle. I hope you can play this at SGDQ. I submitted it alongside him, as well as a few other categories. This game has a bunch of game modes. So, if Battle Royale is not exactly your style, there's a Cannonball mode, there's a bunch of Grand Prix modes, all of which are really fun to speedrun. Don't worry, Packle. Kona's going to get the squad wins for the fam tonight. Definitely. I'll begin that number one victory royale. Okay, Kona. I'm going to address the elephant in the room. Did we just pass Bob Ross? Yes, we did. Yeah. Bob Ross is in this game. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll probably notice pretty soon, uh, whenever the racers get eliminated, um, you'll see a little message appear from them, like their reaction to getting eliminated. And the Bob Ross ones are really cool. Kona, I have a message from Phil. Yeah, go for it. How does it feel to be the first gamer to uh, run a uh, battle royale in a speedrunning marathon? It feels great. I mean, no other marathon has had a battle royale you know, we had Fortnite take the world by storm in 2018, and we have Apex Legends on the rise. But I think Slipstream is the underdog here, you know? This game's available for really cheap. It may not be free to play, but it's still a really fun battle royale. Uh, it, it doesn't have online, but playing against the AI is still really fun. And hey man, it's not early access. This game is complete. It's still getting um, bug fixes and stuff, but all the content updates for the game are done. Are you the ninja of uh, Slipstream? I think you're the ninja of Slipstream, dude. <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> dude, are you going to call me up to the national team sometime? Uh, yeah, <laughs> of course. We're starting our own uh, Slipstream eSports league. Dude, please. Do you want us all to floss? Yeah. I ain't That'll be our signature dance it's move, all about floss. <laughs> Jesus Christ. But we'll have to put our own spin on it. I'm not Who knows what that is, though. So we had the Carpg and the Carlectathon. What's the what's the gag for this one? I haven't been able to think of a clever name for it. Carber, Carber, Carburetor. <laughs> but yeah, we're now in first place. We're not going to Vapor Lake Land. Uh, <laughs> I think a lot of you will like this track, especially if you like Sonic the Hedgehog. This game apparently has a lot of inspiration from that. Gotta go fast. Absolutely, 165 miles per hour. Well over the speed limit, but who cares? What if you just got pulled over right now? That would be bad. <laughs> I wouldn't want to go over estimate here, that's for sure. Am I seeing what I think I'm seeing on this track? Oh yeah, the, the rings and the chaos emeralds. Fun fact, if you win the Grand Prix mode, the trophy has a silhouette of Sonic the Hedgehog. Or at least it looks like Sonic the Hedgehog. No, it's Blonic. It's his own original character. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta avoid copyrights. <laughs> yeah, to explain a little bit about the tech in this game, it's obviously mainly drifting through corners, but sometimes I want to initiate my drifts into straightaway so that I can have full turning power once I enter the corner, and that can prevent me from going to the outside too early and hitting walls. This run's been going really well so far. I've only had a few minor wall hits, but if you've noticed, I, I do lose a lot of speed when I hit walls. So unlike Kirby Air Ride, that's something I do not want to do. This game is very unforgiving in that regard. Generally, you don't want to hit anything with your car. Yeah, exactly. Unless you're playing Kirby Air Ride. Unless you're playing Kirby Air Ride. Exactly. But, but then you're not hitting it with a car, you're hitting it with your Air Ride, dude. It's still a vehicle. Don't you want to run into walls at some points? Yeah, exactly. This, this is just flawed all around. They're exempt from the rule. Just hit every wall with the car, honestly. This track is my favorite in the game for very obvious reasons, as you'll see in a few moments. This is by far the most vaporwave track in the entire game. Dude, is that the jazz pattern from, like, <laughs> pa paper <laughs> solo cups, dude? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you see all the Macintoshes in the tunnel? 
I am like finding jazz. God with this aesthetic. <laughs> dude, uh, I love this aesthetic, dude. It's so good. I think we'll, we'll be seeing some mouse pointers pretty soon. Yeah, here they are. <laughs> <laughs> I Ladies love and that. gentlemen, that is not your mouse pointer. That no. is actually in the game. Dude, I need this I need this track on a t-shirt, dude. Oh. oh. That was a pretty hard hit, but we landed it. Thankfully. Should avoid doing that. It stuck the landing, dude. Heck yeah. So yeah, we're already on stage 11. Doing pretty good in first place by a massive long shot. Uh, six cars are remaining, and we have a few more stages left to go. Yeah, as you can see, unlike other Battle Royales, this game does not suffer from a slow and tedious looting phase. So you can just get right into the action. Exactly. It's really pick up and play in that regard. You know, the estimate here is what, 16 minutes? The games are really short here. And it gives you good experience on the rest of these courses here. If what? you want to do like a Grand Prix mode or something. What Battle Royale has a higher skill ceiling? Tetris 99 or this? Ooh, that, that's a good question. That's a rough question. <laughs> <laughs> Would you call yourself the Wumbo of Slipstream? The no, Wumbo? He's already the ninja. How can he be two different <laughs> people at one time? You can't be the ninja of Slipstream and the Wumbo of Slipstream, dude. Maybe I can be both. Or you could just be the Kona of Slipstream. You could be the Numbo, dude. <laughs> Real quick, we got a $25 donation from Ansdor that says, When I was developing Slipstream, I spent many nights watching speedrun streams in the background. It's so nice to see my game being played in one. Thanks, Konosumi, and everyone. I want to give a major shout out to Ansdor, who is the uh, main developer of the game. If we can get an applause for him real quick, for doing such a great job on this. A legend, dude. This game was funded by Kickstarter. It had a campaign a few years back, and it was in development for quite a long time. And I feel like this game really flew under the radar. Not really many people know about it. So if you like arcade racers and you want to try something new for cheap, I would absolutely recommend this game. Especially if you're into OutRun. This game draws a lot of inspiration from that, from its art style, as well as overall gameplay. But unlike OutRun, this has a Battle Royale mode. Is that supposed to be Mr. Better. T? <laughs> I think it is, dude. It looks like it. <laughs> so here, I, ju I just had a thought. Maybe Ninja is the Konosumi of Fortnite. Oh, ooh, that's quite the claim. <laughs> Man, Ninja's got some tough shoes to fill. I mean, he's got some catching up to do. I'd like to see Ninja try out Slipstream Battle Royale one day. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he'd do pretty well. Anyway, right, I think cool. this is going to be the last stage. We'll see here in just a moment. Yep, this is the last stage, so time will be coming up in about 30 seconds. Was it the last stage? There's three cars left. Oh, well, now two there cars. There it is. Once they cross there the finish line, they get eliminated. <laughs> yeah, this track is all... I haven't been able to comment on the tracks, but these are so cool. I love all the art in the backgrounds, and their layouts are also really unique. Just so much work went into it, and I, it's really respectable. Definitely check out this game. Yep. It's available in the, the Humble Monthly thing they got going on right now. Got $10 from Gordon Pint that says, shout outs to the hat on Kona's shirt. That's a hat. Def it's a hat in time. Dude, shout outs to hats, dude. And time. Good show. Good victory show. Royale. <laughs> That's the number one victory royale, the first ever in the speedrunning marathon. That was a great, that was, I think that's actually the new world record for this category. Because Wait, Calvin has, really? Calvin has a 12.42. Oh, nice, dude. So that's a world record by a few seconds. That's Let's a double go. victory royale. I got two victory royales today. But yeah, that's basically it for Battle Royale for Slipstream. Thanks everybody for watching. And I'm very honored to be invited back to Calithon. If you enjoyed me playing Slipstream today, I'll be back on Sunday playing a Hat in Time Many Percent Co-op with Chocolate here on the couch. Thanks for my couch for being so supportive as always. Dude, congrats on your chicken dinner, dude. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Let me pull it up real quick. There's actually an achievement called uh, Chicken Dinner, if I, can fall, if I can find it. Yeah, here we go. Chicken Dinner. <laughs> Win a Battle go, Royale match. <laughs> But yeah, that's uh, that's basically it. I think up next we have Connor with Cluster Truck, which I'll probably also be capturing for. It's going to be a really good run. Please check it out. Connor's a great guy.
Thank you. See you later, guys. Bye. Good stuff, Konosumi. All right, as I said, stay tuned for Cluster Truck. That is, that is an interesting video game.